<laughs> you know what I'm gonna say before we even get started with our pretty good coffee date I want you to press the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you're notified when another upload goes up and then I want you to get your caffeine of choice and your word and let's get started Okay, so I'm obviously um, oiled up and outside. <laughs> it is um, graduation weekend, and so I have some people to celebrate. Obviously, my BFA, um, Jelena, is graduating, so shout out to her. Um, Y'all tell her congratulations in the comments. Um, so obviously, I'm pre-recording this. Um, which is fine, but I have like a crazy busy week. So I knew that I wanted to get this done. I'm rambling Let's talk about what I'm drinking. I'm drinking water. <laughs> I'm literally drinking water you guys I don't know if you can see the water line, but it's right there uh, I have been on caffeine overload to the point that even I knew I was like Petra you you need to get this together I'm actually gonna turn the air down. Um, you need to get this together. You're wild So I'm drinking water um so Yeah, so I'm gonna be fully hydrated. So I'm excited about that. Um, and that's that. Let's talk about the word today. And this is going to be a well-known scripture, um, but I think we're gonna chat a little bit deeper about it. So it's Luke 6, verse 38, and it's the NLT version, which I've been reading a lot lately. It says, give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Yo. And I think I really love this version because it really, really, really fleshes out what the what Jesus is saying there. But it also it's a it's a fave of mine just because of uh you know all the old songs uh and offertory appeals are talking pressed down shaking together and running over you know so i i do i do love uh that that scripture um but i really wanted to jump into it today because we've been talking a lot about giving and serving others and how it blesses us and blesses the kingdom of God, right? And this is literally saying, giving you will receive. Your, whatever you're giving is going to return to you in full, so much so that it's pressed down, that it's shaken together, and that it's running over and it's gonna be poured into your lap. So that means that it's compressed so much that it's even fitting more and then what you gave. And I think that that's important because sometimes when we hear the press down and shaking together, it's, it's literally saying that we're gonna compress it so that you're getting more than what you actually put into it, right? It's gonna be greater than your level of investment. You just have to choose to invest. And so the amount you give is going to determine the amount you give back. I really loved that part because it's not saying that you have to give everything but it's saying if you want to receive something you're going to have to give something and you're going to have to do it sacrificially because what you're giving is going to directly determine what you're going to receive so in those moments when you feel the unction of the holy spirit telling you to do more to say more to go further to push harder that's all acts of giving it's not just monetary things y'all like it's literally with your time with your talents with your efforts with your friendship, um, with your love, with your care. Um, those are all acts of giving. And so when you're feeling the unctioning of the spirit to do those things, do them and do them with a spirit of excellence. Do them with a spirit of joy. Um, but it is a sacrifice. It's absolutely a sacrifice. But keeping in mind that you're never going to lose anything. In fact, when you give, you make room to receive more literally that's what the word is saying if you're giving it out then you have an empty space that the Lord is going to pour into and he's going to press it down into that space he's going to compress it to such a way that he can put in even more than you gave out but again if you give more you'll have more room for him to fill up 
And that's the part for me. Because again, sometimes we'll think about, Lord, I just can't give this. I don't have the time for this. I don't have the capacity for this. And God is like, if you'll give it, when I'm telling you that I need you to tap in into this area, I will not only bless you with a return on what you gave, but I'll give you what you've actually been seeking. And that's the more, right? It's the more because sometimes what you're giving is not in direct relation to what you're needing, right? So sometimes you're giving of your time, but you're actually needing $1,500, <laughs> right? Sometimes you will give of your services, but what you're actually needing is for food to be put on your table, right? Like there's other things or or let's say what you're giving is time to your, your relationships uh, because your friends are in need and what you're needing is actually some self-care days that are just by yourself and God is going to make a way for those things. But it's really important to have in your mind that service, service is a part of your giving and you're serving others is also serving you. It's teaching you humility, it's nurturing your sense of humility, but it is also allowing you to be in this place of leadership to show others how to serve, how to build, how to effectuate the kingdom in the earth. So the servant is the leader. It's so much to unpack there, but that's how the word is, right? Like he'll tell you something and it's not just for this one thing. It actually impacts every area of your life, literally every area of your life. But you have to get to a place of being willing to sit at his feet and say, okay, I hear you saying this. How does that affect me? How does it change my world? What is it going to do? Right? Like that's really a part of the question. Uh Oh, what's that? Uh Oh, I don't know what that was. Yo, my car is making funny sounds. Oh, y'all, it was my phone. A child abduction alert. Y'all was scared. I thought my car was gonna blow up. Oh. But Lord, please bless the child um, that has been taken, return them safely to their homes and to their families, and um, release the mind of the individual who has done harm. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, but again, like I think that it is so important that when we're thinking about what we're gaining, we're thinking about what we're giving. You cannot gain if you do not give. You cannot grow if you cannot sow, right? And it's, it's really important for us to catch this concept. And I really don't know why the Lord has me sitting on this um, this month, uh, but he does. And I'm, I'm gonna sit there for as long as he wants because I think it's something that we're supposed to be receiving, right? Like we are supposed to be givers and we are supposed to do it with a spirit of joy. It is going to be a sacrifice, but understanding that the sacrifice is not what's killing you. The sacrifice is what is stretching you. The sacrifice is what is growing you. The sacrifice is what is making room, is what is making room for the overflow, right? You have to get rid of some things to take on some things. And that is so important for us to get. It's so important for us to get. Otherwise, the Lord wouldn't have said it. Jesus wouldn't have said it himself. Like this is this is literally Jesus's words in Luke chapter six, verse thirty-eight. That's Jesus. If you go to your Bible, it's in red. That means it's the good Lord. That's not for me, y'all. That police officer is not for me. It's somebody else getting God. Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full pressed down, shaken together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Luke 6 verse 38, NLT version. I want y'all to hold on to that. I want you all to really sit with it and really think about what is your posture when you're giving? Are you only thinking of it as money and then you get an attitude with God? Like, Lord, you ain't giving me enough of my paycheck. No way for me to be giving to nobody. Or are you really considering it as your whole person? Your time, your effort, your talents, your space, and your money. Like, are you thinking about all of these things and thinking about it in relationship to that God gave it all to you in the first place and he wants to grow it exponentially, but he needs to know that you'll trust him with that. He gives you the seed to sow. So sow the seed. 
sow the seed. Holding on to the seed does not produce harvest. Only sowing it does. Only sowing it. Only sowing it. Okay, that's it. That's all I got. I'm in the middle of traffic, and now that I have to hold the phone because I was nervous about my car thing, let's just, yeah, we're gonna be done. So, <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed your time today. Make sure that you get your good coffee, your good caffeine, or your good water, and you get that word in you, and you have an amazing, amazing week. I plan to. I really plan to. I think it's gonna be a really good, good week, especially since I'm glowing in things. Listen, y'all, I'm 36 years old, and I don't think I look, I don't think I look 36, and I'm thankful about it. I'm gonna be out in these streets, reminding everybody that Mrs. Pindar has still got it. So, y'all have a wonderful week, pretty ones. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>